Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. Man, it is February already. Where'd, where'd January go? If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos we crank out. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. All right, let's dig in. Gil Revive over on the Data Champ blog has an item for you regarding fill down hierarchies. And so this could be challenging maybe depending if you have certain hierarchies that you're using within your report. And he walks through how you can accomplish this and also how you can make it dynamic. His walkthrough was interesting. I really enjoyed just watching like how this actually works and some things you should be aware of when you're doing this and how to overcome those as well. So if you have hierarchies and you're trying to do a fill down to make sure different values line up so you can get rid of those null, pesky nulls that you don't want, go check out this blog post. He's got you covered. Reza Rad over on Radicad's blog has a blog post talking about secure embed. We actually did a video on this not too long ago, but this blog post will also walk you through how secure embed works, why would you want it, why would you maybe not, some of the pros and cons, and talks about it in comparison to publish to web. Reza also goes through some of the limitations and just things to consider. So if you're looking to use secure embed, check out this blog post to stay up to date on what exactly it is and how you can use it effectively within your organization. Darren Gosbell's got a blog post talking about how to fix dates that are coming from SharePoint lists. The date values in SharePoint are listed in a certain way, and if you're not paying attention to it, you could end up with some interesting results. And so Darren walks you through how you can actually account for this format inside of SharePoint and how you can actually get it to display your the right local time that you may want to use inside of your reports. So if this is something you're struggling with, if you're using SharePoint lists, definitely check out this blog post. Links as always down in the description below, along with all the items in this week's roundup, including some bonus items. So go check it out. There is a new doc out there relating to Power BI high availability, failover, and disaster recovery. It's an FAQ, and this isn't a community post, but I wanted to call it out because we've had a lot of customers asking about this, and that's why the doc was even created to satisfy a need that enterprise organizations are looking for. This is a great doc if you wanna be aware of how Power BI actually handles disaster recovery and failover and things of that nature with regards to the Power BI service. There is a link down in the description below that'll take you right to it. Be sure you look it over and understand what actually happens in that given scenario. Email subscriptions got an update which relate to time-based scheduling. So now you can actually schedule subscriptions based on time. Previously, the way this worked is it was based off of the data refresh. So when the data refresh was finished, the subscription would fire. But now you can actually schedule those subscriptions to occur at a given time, regardless of when the data was refreshed. This was a big ask from the community. A lot of you asked to have this feature. Now it's in the product. You could still keep the old way of having it trigger after a refresh is complete, or you can actually schedule it for daily or weekly type subscriptions. One thing you may also notice is this looks really similar to the reporting services scheduling. So that's really nice to see that this is making its way into the Power BI service itself. For all the information, check out the blog post down in the description below, and the blog post also links off to the official documentation. So you can get all the juicy info. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. What was your favorite item? Go and let me know down in the comments below. Maybe it was something I mentioned in the roundup. Maybe it wasn't, but I wanna hear what you think. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.